Shalom, what's up, y'all? Shalom, praise God. Now, y'all, by Shama, my shack, y'all, shy. Hako, that's what I was shy, lam, by Hashem, y'all, katua. Ashar, Kapari, wam, happy day of atonement, which we're getting ready to go into. As you can see, it's starting to get dark or whatnot. Brothers finishing their last little <laughs> drinks and, and, and uh, things like that before the day of atonement. Finish my last water, man. Uh, yeah, guys. You know, the day of atonement is a day of affliction our souls. We gotta afflict our souls to the God of Israel and seek repentance in His name. Yeah, I will cut to that. Uh, Scripture says, in, uh, in, the, in the name of the Lord shall all the seed of Israel be justified. Oh, yeah. We're going to go into this uh, day of affliction on some precepts on it. Yeah, how willing. And uh, Lord willing, we can edify the nation of Israel, our couple brothers and sisters, one soul, whatever it may be. We uh, hope, hum humbly hope that we can edify someone. Yom Kapar, which is Yom Kapar. You want to start in Leviticus, Akya? Okay, okay. Leviticus 23 and 26. Okay, okay. Okay. So, getting ready for David Tomlin, man. You know, the scripture says uh, we are to rehearse the righteous acts and, uh, do, and not to make vain or uh, make the law void through faith, man. Okay? Because faith without works is dead. You got it, brother? Hey, hey, let's get cooked. You want to get? I want to get judges. Con, con, go ahead. Bring it out. Bring it out. All right. So, Sorry. getting ready for your warm kapar. <coughs> your warm kapar. Okay. Go ahead, Akya. Con, this is Judges, <coughs> chapter five, verse eleven. They that are delivered from the noise of the archers. And we know the archers is the arrows, which are the, the nuclear missiles were uh, compared to those in the scriptures, read. In the places of drawing water. Go ahead. There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of Yahweh, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. Con, that's why we, we face that each when we pray. Okay. Con, con. So uh, we're supposed to rehearse, man, you know, and the scripture says, be ye perfect as your heavenly father. And the only way you can get strive for perfection is by practice. You know, like they say in the world, practice make perfect, man. You got to perfect your craft. Yeah, come, come. we're going to use both of them. Come on, come on. Sloppy. About to get in something. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> Brother over here. <laughs> Raving it, man. It might be, you, hey, brother. You might be big, brother. You out there acting a fool like that, brother. About to rip my damn door handle off, man. On the day, <laughs> this is like the yeah, Israel. No, no, I, I want to put this right here. So we're looking crazy and stuff. You know what I'm saying. Make sure we had them both. It's all good. Time, time. All right. Darker. It's all good though. Uh, you want me to turn this light on over here? Yeah, man, kind of. Maybe it'll like. help a little bit. Man, it's a lot for you, y'all shout. But yeah, like you were saying, we had, we supposed to rehearse the righteous acts. Huh. And the righteous acts are the laws and commandments. Come on, come on. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Huh. Con, the righteous acts are the laws, statutes, and commandments. I don't want to cut you off, cuz. That's good, brother. Nah, there we go. <laughs> so, uh, get that in Romans about the law. Because you got guys, you know, brothers out there that speak evil against Paul. Well, let's see what Paul said about the law. In Romans 7. I think it's 12. Romans 7, 12. Let's see what Paul said about the law. It's Romans chapter 7, verse 12. That. Wherefore, the law is holy. What Paul say about the law? The law is holy. What? 
and the commandment are holy and just and good. A white man would not say that about the Bible, man. The Bible, the white man condemns the Bible, man. They condemn slavery and all that, man. They, oh, the Bible supports slavery, you know? The Bible says stone your child, you know what I'm saying? Uh. Okay, so if Paul was Edomite, he wouldn't, have, he wouldn't have said the law was just good and holy. So let's start on another lesson, brother. Let's go to Leviticus 23. It's kind of dark, man. Kind of Yeah, don't worry about it. It's all good. They can see you, brother. Find the phone. <laughs> oh, <it's> like, yeah. <laughs> all right, this is all right. Leviticus chapter 23, verse 26. Read. Maybe I need to turn it a little bit. That's probably why. Huh. The way it's angled, probably. Oops. Damn, bro. Is that cool? That really still dark. Yeah, it looked like it made it worse. <laughs> Damn. Let's, Maybe let's turn go. it more in an angle. I know what I'm going to do. Should I go to that car? Put it on Lock, that? Yeah, y'all should. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe it'll give us some more light over there. Slot it, Yashala. Brother's trying to get some light, man. Nah, that'd definitely be the move. Yeah, I think that'll work. Yeah, it's definitely better than it was over there. That's better? Uh, a little bit. This is going good, bro. Oops, lucky, okay. I think we acting a fool. That's cool. Yeah, that's, that's well, the best it's going to get. It's going to have to be, man. Huh. Huh, huh. Like, what are these brothers doing? <laughs> it's all good. All right, uh, you got that Leviticus? Yeah, kind of. Leviticus chapter 23, verse 26. And Yahweh spake unto Moses, saying, Also on the tenth day of this seventh month, there shall be a day of atonement. It shall be a holy convocation unto you. And ye shall afflict your souls. You shall do what? Afflict your souls. Uh -huh. And offer an offering made by fire unto Yahweh. Uh -huh. And, uh, yeah, I said, they said we supposed to afflict our souls. Uh -huh. And how do we afflict our souls? Give me uh, Psalms. You got something? Let's let's look up the word afflict for real uh -huh. quick. You can get it in yours too if you wanted to. Get the word afflict for in um, Leviticus. The Hebrew. This is uh where we at? Oh, it's locked it. Okay, the word for afflict is 6031, which that's the Hebrew word I not, which means to humble yourself. So I'm gonna go. Go to sixty thirty one in the Hebrew. Con, I got. It. You got it. A six, uh, sixty thirty one. Yeah, that is. A nah. A nah. A nah. It says sixty thirty one. Con, 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 con. It says too deep. It says too depressed. To do. Ooh, and, and don't eat. Don't eat, brother, for a whole day. <laughs> See how you feel. Go ahead. It said to depress literally. Literally. Or figuratively. Uh, uh, it's like it. As follow. It say a base self afflict. Say answer by mistake for chasten thyself. Chasten self. Deal hardly. Deal hardly with. So when you're not eating and, and drinking, man, you, you're basically dealing hardly with your body, man. Let me get it. It says. Exercise, force, uh, humble, humble self, hurt, ravish. Con, so it's weaken. It also say con, weaken. Con, submit self also. 
Because when you don't eat, you you at your weakest state, man. All right. So, uh, we got that word for a flick. So, we can keep going. Uh, you know, let, since, read that again, then I'm going to ask you to get to Psalm 35 real quick. Con, uh, say, uh, the word I not, uh, Psalms H 6031. Uh, some of the definitions are to um, deal hardly with, chasten self, humble, force, exercise, hurt, ravish. One is also to sing, uh, says, submit self, weaken. Ah. So you're submitting yourself to what the Most High is telling us to. That's one thing, and you're weakening yourself and chastening yourself. That's right. So you want to read that Leviticus real quick one more time for me? John, Leviticus chapter 23, verse 26. And Yahweh spake unto Moses, saying, Also on the, on the tenth day of this seventh month, there shall be a day of atonement. It shall be an holy convocation unto you, and ye shall afflict your souls, and offer an offering made by fire unto Yahweh. That's right, man. And that and that and that fire, that offering of fire is afflicting yourself, man. Okay, because uh, affliction uh, uh, affliction represents fire. Fire represents affliction, which represents purging yourself and cleansing yourself. Get there. Yeah, not uh, Isaiah. Yeah. <clears throat> Chapter twenty-three. Isaiah chapter 48 verse 10 Behold I have refined thee but not with silver I have chosen thee Refine so thee like time. Refine that's cleansing What? Said I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction Furnace of affliction Okay That's that heat right there man uh, fire, man. That offering made unto the Most High, of, that uh, that offering of fire made to Yahweh, man. So give me Psalms 35 and 13. Uh, <clears throat> okay. And now it's pretty, it's the Day of Atonement now, man. Ashar, Yawam Kapar. Okay. Kapar Yawam Ashar, Yahweh by Shama Mashiach Yahweh Okay? You said what again? And Yahweh Shai is not an idol, man. But you dudes out there saying that. You said. We are Savior, man. You said 35? Through Yahweh, because that's what Yahweh Shai means, salvation of Yahweh. 35 and 13. Psalm 35 and 13. Okay. Psalm chapter 35, verse 13. But as for me, when they were sick, uh, my clothing was sackcloth. This King David, go ahead. It says, I humbled my soul with fasting. How did David humble his soul? With fasting. Read. And my prayer returned into my own bosom. Right, and we want our prayers to return into our own bosom because that's what the Day of Atonement represents, us cleansing ourselves. And we're praying that the Most High cleanses us from all our wickedness and sins that we've committed against them in our, our, our previous life and in our past life. Okay. So, uh, the word for humble, like we just brought out, is I not. So, he said he humbled right. his soul with fasting. The word I not means to uh, weaken. Right. He weakened his soul with fasting. It, all, it means to weaken, uh, deal hardly, um, exercise. So, he was exercising fasting. And uh, let's see what else they, what else they got. Uh, yeah, humble. Humble and uh, to weaken. It also means to afflict. All right, so we keep going on that. Unless you want to get the word for fasting. Get the word for fasting. Because he said he, 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 he I nod his soul, man. He I nod. He weakened his, his self with fasting. And I believe the word for fasting is Tazawam. I might be wrong, but I'm about to look it up. You got something up? Con, con, that's what I wanted to get. Uh, this is to just to let you that people know also some people try to say that things that we did 
out of the Old Testament that we no longer have to do them now because we're in captivity or whatever. So I want to get this Leviticus chapter 16, 6, verse 29. It says, And this shall be a statue forever unto you. So we know what forever means, never ending. It said that in the seventh month, on the tenth day of the month, ye shall afflict your souls. <laughs> so it's talking about it again. And it's, it's saying it, it's forever. Con, con. That's beautiful, brother. I got a... Uh, so we can read that. We can go back into Leviticus and read the whole chapter now. But I want to get uh, the word for fasting. But you can go there, though. Uh, the word for fasting is 66... Uh, slightly. Check sixty-six. Um, I just lost it, man. He said he humbled the soul with fasting. Yeah, that's in Psalms. It's like it. Okay. Yeah, it's sixty-six eighty-five in the in the Hebrew. Strong 6685, which I am there. The word for fasting in the Hebrew is 6685. It says Tazawam. <laughs> like I was saying, brother. Or it's Tazawam or Tazam. Tazam, a fast. Fasting. It says come from 6684. That was definitely Tazawam. Tazawam. To cover over the mouth. Or to Zom. Con, con, con. You see it? <laughs> to Zom. So y'all brothers, man, y'all better be out there to Zom, okay? Call Yasha Allah to Zom, yeah, man. Call Yasha Allah to Zom. Call Yasha Allah to Zom, brother. <laughs> Call Yasha Allah to Zom. Your park, your warm uh, your so like Okay? Call Yash Call Yashala Taza Call Yashala Taza Wam Your Wam Kapar. You know what I'm saying. Go ahead and translate it. You could say um uh Zayawam. Zayawam. This day. <laughs> you gonna bring the sound on me. Okay, brother, that's beautiful. Call Hala Yahweh, man. God, God. All praises. So the word Tazawam. Let's go back to it. See if if you got any more definitions in, in your strongs. It might have a couple more. I don't yeah, know. no, all I have was fasting in mind. Okay, it's yeah, it says tazawam, cover over the mouth. So you're supposed to cover your mouth, man. Don't let nothing in there to it, man. No food, no drink. All right, so let's go, brother. So David said he I not tazawam, man. He, right. he humbled his soul with fasting. I not tazawam. So so we say cow yashala. Tazam, Zayawam, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Zayawam Kapar. Okay? Because we got to get a tone, man. Nah, wait, wait, wait. We want to go read Leviticus. Now we're going to just go down and read the whole thing on there. Uh, 23. Con, con. Con, so that one where it says, I just want to quote that again, where it say, uh, to keep it forever, to keep uh, this as a statue forever is Leviticus chapter 16, verse 29. Time, time. All right, we're going to go back to 23. Pretty dark out here. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's that, it's that day of atonement, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Kaya <laughs> Yashala Taza Wam Kapar Yawam. All right, uh, Leviticus, I'm going to go to chapter 23, verse 28. Hey, and we happy, brother. Kanye. I feel good, man. Kanye, definitely okay, feel good. <laughs> I'm not sad, man. I'm not like we not like the hypocrites, man. But we gonna get them scriptures too, Lord willing. Kanye, Kanye. Go ahead, brother. Verse 28 of Leviticus 23 saying, and "Ye shall do no work in that same day, for in for it is a day of atonement." Con. Hey. Hey man, most I, I'm just saying, more, man, I might might have to take the day off, man. <laughs> yeah, on the school side, man. It's saying you should do no work in that same day, for it is a day of atonement to make an atonement for you. Con, con. Before your power, your power. 
Hey, and I'm a, you know, this is gonna be my little you know, testimony and, and honesty. Like this year is my first year ever being off on the Day of Atonement, man. My la my all the years that I've been in the troop, I always had to work on the Day of Atonement, but I did rehearse the fast though, man. And you always saw that. So just wanted to put that out there. Oh, we all, I'm gonna make that happen. Uh, said for whatsoever so it be that shall not be afflicted in that same day, he shall be cut off from among his people. Hey, I got a better idea. What? Right, we can get some light. We just time to bring it over some more. Probably, like, turn it. I know you probably won't grab your phone. I don't want to get silly. All right. All right. That's going on, That ain't doing nothing, man. <laughs> <laughs> ain't that? I think it need to be turned this way so the light will be coming this way, you know? Look like you're doing anything. You definitely see the see the stars and all that, but uh <laughs> Yeah, we don't we don't see too much slock here. So yeah, slock here, yeah, slock here. Yeah, Y'all trying to make this view all right for you. Ooh, oh, slock it. Slock me up, man. I'm bugging it. <laughs> Set this back down. That, yeah, that looks I guess that's a little bit better. Alright. So you wanna keep reading that? Uh, also, let me bring out the word for atone. I'm going to bring out the word atone. Okay? So, like, you want to get that first? Yeah. And the word atone comes from Strong's H3722. Kapar. Kapar. A permanent root. It says, uh, to make an atonement, to cleanse, disannul, forgive, be merciful, Pacify, pardon, to purge away, to make reconciliation. Con, con. Okay. Also, the word kapar from 3724 says, uh, it says a redemption price. Uh, con, ransom. I was looking at that because it says this and all up there forgive, so we doing this for the most high. Yeah, and, and, you, know? and, you know, so we can be back, uh, redeemed back to the Father, man. It says no man shall buy you. Ah, and this <laughs> is part of that process of being forgiven, man. It's a lot of things. Yep, it says to cleanse, uh, be merciful, and to pardon. And that's why we fast him, so we can, most high can pardon us, man. And we in a, whew, this is the perfect time to fast. Man, okay? it's, hey, man, it's the fourth quarter cut. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's definitely the fourth quarter, man. <laughs> So like brothers gotta get get put the game face on, man. Uh, uh, this is, uh Leviticus twenty three and twenty nine says for whatsoever so it be that you uh not be afflicted in that same day. So if you don't want to fast this day, let's see what this, the Dawara teaches. Says he shall be cut off from among his people. Oh man, he shall be what? Cut off from among his people. Bro, that, that thing looked like he's trying to see the light, brother, the little circle on there, brother. What, you talking about on the phone? <laughs> yeah, Kai, Kai. They try to put a halo on us, brother? What's oh, Kai, Kai, Kai. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Go ahead. I, I see that rainbow. <laughs> uh, hey, man, say. no sun worship up in here, man. <laughs> All right? <laughs> oh, we ain't dealing with Baal, man. We worship Yahweh now, man. And we uh, ask for forgiveness through his son. Said, and whatsoever so. Oh, it's a lot of y'all read that one. It said, ye, sh ye shall do um, no manner of work. Um, It shall be a statue forever. Wait a minute. Only only, only in the land of Israel and not when you go into captivity. Say, it shall be a statue forever. And the most I knew we was going into captivity. Uh. All right. It said forever throughout your generations. Throughout your what? Out your generations. That's that's plural, man. No, but get this. In all your dwellings. So wherever the hell you at, man. <laughs> you understand that? You understand me? <laughs> okay. Like the brothers say. <laughs> <laughs> say, it shall be unto you a Sabbath of rest. Okay. So that's you know what that's telling too? You can keep the Shabbat no matter where you are. Yeah. That's what that's saying. Yeah. Yeah, because it says in all your dwellings, man. Exactly. It shall be a Sabbath unto it shall be unto you 
a Sabbath. You know what I'm saying? Of rest, and ye shall afflict your souls. I, I na, I na na pashka. Okay. Time in the ninth day. In the ninth day of the month at evening. Yep. When the sun go down. From even, Salafia, at even, from even unto even, shall ye celebrate your your Sabbath. That's right. So he say celebrate. You being afflicted, but he said this is a celebration. Oh man, <laughs> oh man, God halal ya how man. We so we, I get no. We better not play no music, man. Nah, bro, you don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want to. Hey, you know how it, hey, brother. Hey, brother, give me Amos, brother. I will not hear that melody, brother. <laughs> I would, I take away the noise of thy songs. God, God. <laughs> Says, speak unto the children hey, of he says, Israel. Wait a minute. Let's get the word celebrate. Uh -huh. Let's get that word celebrate. And let's see what the most high mean by celebration. Oh, shit. Uh -huh. yeah, I know what <laughs> Your pain stuck, brother. <laughs> My bad. I it's not good. Call to Wab. Call to Wab. You're how old, God, man. God. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was supposed to be looking for the word celebrate. Gone, gone. Celebrate. So read that again, brother, while I'm getting this. Con. This is verse 32. It says, It shall be unto you a Sabbath of rest. Uh, oh, man. Snaps. <laughs> yeah, really it is officially dark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I get it out. <laughs> Hey, it's lock me up, y'all. We have some technical difficulties over here. It's all good. Count to why. Hey, like, did the light go out, bro? It definitely did. Come on, man. Hey, that's crazy. Right. Huh? That's crazy, bro. Lock me up, lock me up. Like it, Israel. Stop it. No, I'm just pausing it. That's crazy. 